In this lesson, we are going to begin solving trig equations. We're going to have three different parts of these, and they're just going to get progressively harder as we go. Um, so here's the basic idea. You are trying to figure out cosine of some angle is going to get you a root 3 over 2. Technically, there's an infinite amount of these. We could start with just um, 30 degrees. Cosine of 30 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse, and that's a root 3 over 2. However, there's an infinite amount of these because of coterminal angles. So, and there's quadrants associated with this. So, they, they a lot of times limit you. Um, and, and in future videos, we'll talk about what if they don't limit you, how do you represent all the infinite answers. But most of the time, you get limited. So, our answers are only going to come from 0 and 2 pi. So I'm going to be getting most of these problems are set up to be non-calculators, so our answers are going to have a tendency to come from our special triangles and points on our circle, and then a smart trig class to help us figure out positives and negatives. So to start, we're looking at cosine of what angle is going to get us a root 3 over 2. It's a 30 degree. So our reference angle is 30 degrees. However, we're talking about 30 degrees in the first quadrant and 30 degrees in the fourth quadrant. So 30 and um, 330. So 30 degrees is pi over 6. And how many 30s does it take to get to 33? Or how many 3s does it take to get to 33? 11. So it's 11 pi over 6s. And that is your first set of answers. So that's the idea. The challenge is we got to get it to this step because they're not all going to look like that. So, for example, let's say you have 2 cotangent x plus 1 equals negative 1. All right, so we're going to basically try to get cotangent by itself. So we're going to subtract 1, divide by 2. So we'll subtract 1, that gives us a 2 cotangent x is equal to a negative 2, divide by 2. Cotangent x equals negative 1. Uh, personally, I'd rather do tangent. So if I do tangent here, I need to do the reciprocal of this. So if we make this a fraction, the reciprocal of negative 1 is just negative 1. Um, so tangent is opposite over adjacent. And so we're looking at a 45 degree. So our opposite and adjacent need to match, except we need to be negative. So we're looking in these two quadrants. Um, so we're looking at a 45 in this quadrant and a 45 in this quadrant. So that's 1, 2, 3 pi over 4. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pi over 4. All right, there's our first two. And then we'll do one more of what if we have secant squared x plus 2 equals negative 1. And um, if we try to get this stuff all by itself, we're going to subtract 2. So we're looking at secant squared x is going to equal negative 3. To get rid of the square, we're going to square root. And we just created imaginaries. Imaginaries are not part of this at all. So we're going to get a no solution. So it doesn't happen too often, but it absolutely can happen. Uh, the two ways that you're going to get a no solution out of something is if you're trying to square root a negative. Obviously, that's not going to be okay. We're not going to pull imaginaries into this. Um, another situation is when you have sine of something... And remember that your output of this, no matter what your angle is, is going to range between a negative one and a positive one. So if you're sitting something like that, that's not going to create a solution either. Okay, so that's definitely going to, a possibility of it coming up. All right, so we'll do part two of another three, a little bit more challenging problems.